Ah, Chuck E. Cheese. Good place, good place. Where kid could be a kid, um, but now kids will go extinct because it's it's going bankrupt. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to a really weird video. All right, this video is going to have a really weird format, something that I've never done on the channel, so bear with me here. I have wanted to talk about Chuck E. Cheese and FNAF for quite a while now, and I kind of did in one of my FNAF news videos, but not for very long. Basically, to summarize, if you guys don't know already, Chuck E. Cheese is filing for partial bankruptcy. So they're not actually going bankrupt, they're just closing a few locations to save some extra cash. I believe it's in the 30s or 40s? locations that they're closing, so it's nothing really too big, but they are still really, really tight with money. They are in severe, severe debt. And it probably doesn't help when people are linking Chuck E. Cheese, a family-friendly, you know, location that serves pizza, with a horror franchise about someone who murders children and stuffs them into the animatronic costumes. Yeah, people have been joking around saying, oh, since Chuck E. Cheese is closing, they're gonna turn it into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. There's even a petition going around, you know, where you can sign it, and it's like, oh, let's help make Chuck E. Cheese into FNAF, but that's not gonna do anything because it's up to Scott. If Scott says no, it's not gonna happen. Also, as amazing as it would be to have a FNAF restaurant, and believe me, I would go. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> Alright, because there are some stupid idiots out there that would want to reenact the games and stab and murder five kids in the restaurant. And I spoke about this with some other people and they thought, ah, that, dude, that's, that's stupid, no one would do that. You would be surprised, there's some really dumb idiots out there. For everyone's safety, it's, it's not a good idea. Anyways, um, that basically summarizes everything. Now let's get into the actual video. I wanted to talk about this, you know, this situation with Chuck E. Cheese and FNAF. But I didn't want to just sit down and talk about it, because that's boring. So, instead, um, YouTube actually suggested that I watch some videos. Probably because I've been watching all of Raz's videos on the topic, but uh, YouTube the other day suggested the Arcade Craniacs to me, and I took a look at their channel, and they've made quite a few Chuck E. Cheese X FNAF videos. So I want to look at three. Now I know that's a lot, so sorry if the video is long, but I watched these last night and they are just ridiculous. I was interested to see what their channel was like based off of these videos, so I took a look and I was not surprised by what I found. They're the typical, you know, channel specifically targeted towards kids. They use a lot of clickbait, they do a lot of challenges, especially 24 hour challenges, which, by the way, I have seen a few 24 hour Chuck E. Cheese challenges, which I'm not going to cover because not only is that extremely stupid, it's also extremely illegal, right? That's trespassing, they'll call the cops, you'll get arrested, don't do that. Anyways, we've waited far too long. Again, I have three videos lined up, let's take a look at the first one. So the first video is called, Five Kids Missing at Chuck E. Cheese? What happened? So because I don't want them to completely copy strike this video, I'm going to be skipping around a little bit in the videos. So let's start off with the first one. So I'm here at the Chuck E. Cheese where the five kids went missing, and do you notice something? Those are handprints! Those are handprints on the window! Okay, so not only does it start off with a TikTok video, which is just terrible, uh, but they also claim that there are handprints on the windows, which, to be fair, does look like handprints. I can confirm those are handprints. But also, people could have just made those, right? Either, and to be fair, they do like the, look like they're on the inside of the building. So, what they probably did was they went inside, smudged up the windows, went outside, and was like, shit, dude. That's some handprints. Five kids went missing at Chuck E. Cheese this week. Let's talk about that. Okay, so we're not even 10 seconds in, and I've already had to stop twice, which is never a good sign. First of all, um, I'm not sure if it's this video. Frankly, all of these videos blended together from last night. Um, but they show an article about five missing kids going missing from USA Today. Which, by the way, that article is not true at all. That article is completely false. Don't believe it. I still find it insane that people want to believe that five missing kids went missing and were killed at a Chuck E. Cheese? Because really thinking about it, that's just really twisted. Why would you want that to happen? And again, going back to what I said earlier, if there really was a real-life Fazbear's, Fazbear's Pizza and five kids went missing, that'd be terrible. So I'm still not sure why people still want this type of stuff to be real. Today we are talking about five kids who went missing at Chuck E. Cheese and whether that is true or not. Oh my god, where the f mask. Oh my god. I don't care if you're making a video, I don't care if you're making a TikTok, wear a f***ing mask when you go outside. We're literally in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. But yeah, when you go outside, when you go anywhere, 
Wear a goddamn mask, please. We want to find out where are these kids. We want to ask questions. Where are all the kids? Where are the kids? Where are their dead bodies? Where's this dead walker? Huh? Tell me, employee. Five kids have gone missing. That's not true. And that a worker was found dead at one. That's also not true. There's been weird movement from the animatronics as well. That's still not true. So we'll talk about this later on, but the animatronic movements are pretty simple. Again, I don't want to go into it right now because they bring it up later in the video, so I'll wait. Seeing how creepy it could be turned off. I mean, look at all the games just turned off, guys, right now. Man, turned off games? That's creepy. And there's Chucky's over here. They do this constantly throughout the videos. They just add in a, a boom, like a thud noise from a horror movie when it it's totally not necessary. Like you you couldn't have at least used it when you actually do look at Chucky. Oh my, that is so, he's just in the dark, in the dark alone. And his eyes are closed. No way, he's not moving in the dark with his eyes closed. Man, maybe he's deactivated right now, since there's no kids and no show going on. Claim strange movement from animatronics during post hours. <laughs> Wait. How is that strange movements? What? They're just doing what they're supposed to do. Look around the dining room to look at the kids. They're supposed to interact with the kids, you know, to look at them to sing to them. That's kind of the whole point of audio animatronics. And then the other guy dropped what? He dropped dead? Yeah. Just like that? I don't know how it doesn't save. The walker just dropped dead? Just like that? That doesn't happen. I mean, he must have had like a stroke. I mean, he must have like stuffed too much pizza down his throat. Like, people don't just drop dead like that. Five Nights at Freddy's will be real in 48 hours. That's what the tweet says. Wait, what? Oh, Five Nights at Freddy? Oh, because they, they have a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic, right? Because they have animatronics, yeah. You can tell these people know nothing about FNAF because they will constantly say the name wrong and they're just obviously going along with it for the memes, you know, for the video. Five Nights at Freddy is very creepy, guys. There's a lot of video pl uh, gameplay of people playing this. FNAF is really popular on YouTube. Did you guys know that? It's really creepy. It's a horror game. A lot of things don't make sense. So what we want to do, we want to ask questions. As we do that, we're going to ask one of the workers, have they heard anything about the five yeah, kids missing exactly. or the weird animatronics? Yeah. God, I feel so bad for any worker at Chuck E. Cheese right now, just being constantly bombarded with questions about Five Nights at Freddy's. They're probably just so irritated with it, and it's just... Ugh. I can't imagine being them right now. It must be terrible. The pizza theory, the recycled pizza. So we're going to get a pizza too as well. We're going to mm. eat that at the end of the video. Oh wait, they bring up the recycled pizza theory from like a year ago. I don't know why they threw it into this video, probably to pad the runtime. Because as you can see, the video is just barely past 10 minutes. And the time it took to interview the walker about the five missing kids took about six. And we're already halfway through that six minute mark, so... Yep, definitely to pad the one time. Heard it was in the Los Angeles area, you and did? we are in the Los Angeles oh area right gosh. now. So this might be the Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. Oh I mean, God. look at it. You guys, look look how creepy it is, man. They keep bringing up the fact that the area is just so creepy with the lights turned off. Bro, any place where there are no illuminating lights just is creepy in general. So now they go talk to the walker about the five missing kids and FNAF. Hey, have you heard anything about like uh, um, kids missing at Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, yeah, God. Is that true? Oh, nah, boss. I said that doesn't need to stay off the weed, man. You heard the Chuck E. Cheese employee. Kids, stay off the weed. This man, oh my God. What kind of response is that? Hey, have you heard about... I mean, to be fair, what kind of question is that? Have you heard about five missing kids? Nah, man, just stay off the weed. It's such a weird interaction. So what it is, the animatronics is operated through a, a gas system. I mean, an air system. So it's like a big compressor in the back. So uh -huh. when you turn it on... Like in the very in the morning or even when you turn it off so once you turn it on in the morning it's filling with air so you know for the first five minutes before you actually turn on like he'll move a little bit because it's air running through him you know <laughs> to, to get him going you know now this is actually true all right if you guys don't know the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics work by a air pressure system and something that's very false in FNAF is that the fact that the animatronics are made out of complete metal you know, their insides are just 100% metal and that they're electric or boogie woogie. Because of the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, they're mostly made out of tubing system. Because the air goes through there, you know, when it gets a lot of air pressure, the arm moves up. Pretty simple. Carpet done every other week, so. You yeah. know what I mean? Kids running around in here with no shoes on and someone says, oh yeah, it smells weird. I'm like, yeah, well, tell your kids to put the shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> now this is just disgusting. They, they get the carpet done every other week? 
because the little kittens, they can't go down the slide with their shoes on, so they gotta take them off. The other night or some kid we missing, that's all bogus, man. Oh, like, man. You, you have, like... That's all bogus, man. None of that actually happens. It's all bogus. So then they get the pizza. They talk about the recycled pizza theory from, like, Shane Dawson from, like, a year ago. Over a year ago. So this next video is called, Will FNAF close Chuck E. Cheese forever? Two? Question marks. Five kids missing at Chuck E. Cheese? Question mark. Real or fake? Question mark. So, if you guys are counting correctly, that's four question marks. Alright, let's see what this video is about. I've been outside of Chuck E. Cheese for hours. I haven't seen anything weird. I'm exhausted. This is totally crazy. I'm just gonna go home. There's nothing happening. Ah! Ah! Once again, starting off with weird, like, TikTok ish videos. So the first one has creepy music over the animatronics doing their regular movement, you know, again, looking around the dining area. Just like lights going out, you can make anything creepy with creepy music. The second video is them taking down the Chuck E. Cheese sign, which is just simple. <laughs> like, the place is going bankrupt. When you close a place down, you know, you take it apart, and you get it ready for whatever the building is going to be next. And then they catch this clip of a girl in their car waiting for something to happen at Chuck E. Cheese and then someone knocks on her windshield and then she screams. I don't know what I was supposed to think that character was. Is that Chucky or is that her boyfriend outside? Finally, we have found a Chuck E. Cheese location that is actually open. I mean, you guys said you live in the LA area, right? <laughs> Surely it's not that difficult to find a Chuck E. Cheese that is opened. Right? I mean, I know they're closing down a lot of a lot of locations, but I'm sure it's not going completely extinct in California. And look at the inside, guys. It is completely gutted. All the games, everything is taken out. I can't believe they took in everything out of that location. Weird, since it's closing down. Like, oh wow, they took down the sign. They took out all the all the arcade machines because it's closing down. Do you think they're making way for Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria? Oh my god, yep. Okay, this is the part I was talking about where they constantly say the name wrong. They are going to be calling him Freddy Fazbear, like he's part of FaZe Clan. So weird that all of a sudden it's everything, everything is gone. Is Guys, I cannot believe it. All the arcade machines are gone and we're losing locations. Almost as if we're going bankrupt. Also, we are going to get some food and see if anything changed of the food items or not. What is it with them in the food? I mean, as I just mentioned, this video is just barely past 10 minutes, it's like 28 seconds past, so they clearly needed something to fill up the time, so hell, let's get food. I mean, that is the whole point of Chuck E. Cheese, right? This already looks kind of empty, empty. Oh, this place looks really empty. Almost as if we're in a pandemic currently. The five kids were missing, but now we can't we can get close to the animatronics. Now, yeah, now you can't go close at all to the animatronics. Because, you can't even go in the arcade. Because, well, you can't get close to the animatronics, and you can't go in the arcade because there's a pandemic going on. That is why all of these buildings are empty, even the ones that are open, because no one's going there because there's a pandemic. Everyone keeps saying that the animatronics ate the kids. I know. You guys, what do you think? Comment down below. Do you think the animatronics actually ate the five kids? Because there's five of them and each one of them could have ate the kids I, I don't know i believe in that <gasps> oh kind of oh my god stuff. i didn't yeah. even think about that yeah dude all right first off put the mask back on second off that's simple that's simple fnaf lore if you didn't think about that either all right either they're playing it up for the video or they're just really dumb and did no research at all because that's literally the main lore in the first game i wish you get closer i'm trying to get closer Holy moly, guys, they're right there. I'm trying to get closer. Takes five steps. Wow, I'm so close. When the worker comes, I'm gonna ask, is the rumor actually true? Is Freddy Face Bear Pizzeria going to take over Chuck E. Cheese? So yes, this is reused content from the last video. What were you expecting? And they're not gonna close this one down at all? No, that we know. No? Oh, okay. okay. God, that's so sad. Are they gonna close this location down? Uh, I hope not. Then, I, then I'd lose my job. You guys, as we're waiting for the food, Nicole has a lot of these tweets she's pulled up from her phone and we want to read them out. Oh my god, this is like the third time I've had to say this, but put the mask on. Even if there's no one around, you still gotta wear the mask, guys, come on. It makes it worse because this channel is very clearly aimed towards kids. And if kids see them not wearing masks out in public, they're not gonna want to wear them. So, 
Put it on. Keep it on. Come on. You what do you guys know, think? Do you think Five Nights at Freddy's is going to take over? I really think they are. Everyone thinks that it's going to work profit-wise, and there's even like a petition for it, too. Yeah. Yes, it would get a lot of attention, but it would also cost a lot of money. I just don't think it would work financially. Also, considering the fact that Chuck E. Cheese is $1 billion in debt, I don't think a couple FNAF characters is going to help that. Let me just say. That's not going to help. Yes, again, it will attract attention, there will probably be a lot of people going, but it's just, it's not gonna work out. And look at all these pizzas, they look like they're gonna throw them in the trash too. I feel like no one is coming to Chuck E. Cheese and they're probably gonna throw all these pizzas away. Based off of the structure, the way those boxes are placed, I don't think there's pizza in them. Freddy Fuzz very pizza on the front of Chuck E. Cheese, like replacing the old sign. Yeah, this is what we mean, guys. We saw this picture and we're like, oh my god, because it looks yeah, real. it does. I'm sure they probably made it look as real as it could be in Photoshop. It and does. We, we were trying to look for the address so we could go there and show you guys. Right, like I said, guys, if we get to like 10,000 likes, we'll try to find that location. And we'll go. And we'll go. Yeah. You know? Guys, if we get 10,000 thousand likes i will go to real life freddy fazbear's pizza and i will touch freddy's nose i like how they said wow this looks really real um but clearly you know they knew it was photoshopped and then five seconds later they're like all right guys if we get ten thousand likes we'll go to that real life place that's 100 real very creepy because right now we're sitting right here and the animatronic the Chuck E. cheese guy he just keeps looking at me. How long is it gonna take for people to realize that that's what they do? Would you rather, right, go to Chuck E. Cheese and have the animatronics just stand there not doing anything? Or would you rather them look lifelike and real for the kittens to enjoy? I'll try to put a picture right now of uh, Freddy Fazbear replacing Chuck E. Cheese's face right here. Yeah. Imagine him being the box. I, that was a really good edit. I could not tell that that was fake. That looked exactly like Freddy Fazbear was on that pizza box. Also, that was 100% and totally Freddy Fazbear and not a drawing that they probably stole from DeviantArt. Freddy Fazbear pizza, oh how God. different would it be? And we also have some wings right here too as well. Ooh! <laughs> some Freddy Fazbear wings? That'd be oh crazy! God. God, could you imagine if the whole FNAF menu was just here, have some Fazbear pizza, have some Fazbear wings, you know, just everything is except it's just Fazbear at the store. Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria on the internet. We gotta find that location, guys. We gotta find the address for that. If you guys know, comment down below the address. No one knows the address because it's not real. And then they eat the pizza for several minutes. All right, let's move on to the third and final video. So this one, the last one, is called Do Not Go to Chuck E. Cheese at 3 a.m. Challenge. FNAF is real. Should we go? Huh? No. Why? Stop. In these types of videos, there's always at least one person that's like, Should we do it? No, dude, don't do it. Which is dumb because of course they're gonna do it. They removed the sign. Also, just like the last video, they're, they're taking down the sign because it's closed down. So that's really not all that scary. Alright, it shows it here, um, and then it will show it again in more detail later on in the video. But I genuinely have no clue what that is. Is it a animatronic? Clearly not. Is it a body bag? Maybe. And rumors have it that this location became abandoned and they, they just closed it down because the five kids were missing here at this location, guys. Wait, I thought it was the other location. You know, in the first video when they said that that location could be where the five missing kids went missing, but I guess now it's this one? But this location already is a very very creepy location. I've never seen any creepier Chuck E. Cheese location than this one before. Again, I don't know why it looks so creepy, right? It's just a building. It doesn't even look abandoned. Like, the lights are still on, the sign's still up. How is that creepy? As we were filming the intro a couple of times, we had to keep stopping because we keep hearing noises right now, guys, from these trees and from the back of the Chuck E. Cheese. Man, those have to be some really loud noises because not only is there a road right there, but also they are constantly yelling. I thought I saw someone in here. I know, you guys, as I'm we came inside, kidding. we thought we'd keep hearing people or we saw people inside here as we're filming the intro right now. I mean, would it really be that weird if you did see and hear people in there? I mean, it looks like they're in the process of closing it down, you know, taking everything out. So would it really be all that, you know, scary if there were walkers in there just getting rid of everything? That's a hand marking. Oh my god. Oh, heck no, dude. 
There's literal hand markings around this door right now, dude. Okay, unlike the TikTok that they showed at one of the other videos, uh, these look nothing like handprints. These look nothing like handprints at all. It just looks like smudge that they rubbed on for the video. At least the TikTok was trying to be genuine, but this is just, this is horrible. Like, what is that? And that has to be it. But why are the lights on in the back over I don't there? Know. Lights are probably on because they're, they're closing it down. Not a whole lot of abandoned locations usually keep their lights on. There's probably people still in there walking, trying to get things out. I, I still don't understand what they don't understand. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? I heard somebody, dude. Yeah, I heard somebody. Dude. God, I feel like I'm watching an episode of Ghost Hunters where they just run away from anything at all and don't show the audience at all. Oh, there's tagging too. Man, graffiti is, is terrifying. I would never think to see graffiti on a abandoned building. What is that? I don't know. Honestly, what, like, what is that? They look like, like, I don't know, like stunt, like cushions that stunt people jump onto. Am I like, I can, can you guys tell me what that is? I have no clue. They just look like cushions, like, like cushions for the chairs. I, I really have no clue why they're freaking out about this. I am freaked out right now. I do not want to be here. Why did they zoom in on that door? There was very clearly nothing there. I've never been to this go, 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 I don't want to be here anymore, dude. I'll go to the other side. And then all of a sudden they just run away? Like they saw something, even though they did not say that they did? Nor the fact that they heard anything? So I don't know why they're running all of a sudden. Hey, if there's nobody here, why is there a bottle of water right there? There's a bottle of water? Yeah. There's a bottle of water right there. No! A bottle of water? Maybe there's some hard-walking walkers in there trying to <laughs> clear the place. The animatron- the animatronics. Okay, the animatronics <laughs> don't drink water. In fact, that would be very terrible for them to drink water because then all their joints would rust up and they would cease to function. Is it open? Should we try to open it? No, it's closed. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it open? Should we try to open it? No, uh, again, just like the Walmart challenge, that is trespassing. And they have this sign. This is the old, this is a very old location, guys. They have the old mascot. I wish we could have this sign. I know. So not only do they want to trespass on the location, they are also looking to rob it. I literally keep hearing something over there. I keep hearing it. Dude, 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 do you hear that? I keep hearing things out over there. Well, maybe it could be the cars going by on the road, going at a... Breezy 45 miles per hour. Oh, the spider! Oh my god, oh. so creepy. I mean, really, the spider is the only terrifying thing in these videos. Dude, look. What? The curtain is open. The curtain is open at Timing Creek. Like, literally just enough for somebody to look through it. I mean, yeah, the curtain's open. I can't really tell because it's really dark, but you can tell it's open. But there was nothing, nothing there at all. No, 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 no. I like how as they run away, he makes sure to get another shot of the Chuck E. Cheese sign. God, can you imagine being one of the people driving down the road and just seeing these two grown adults just running away from a abandoned building? You're probably thinking, did they try and trespass? Are they looking to rob the place? I literally just peed a little bit. <laughs> and she's gonna keep bringing it up, by the way. I saw a movement, like a whole... It could be Five Nights at Freddy. I just keep feeling like I'm seeing things. It could be Freddy, Fo Freddy Fazbear. Dude, that movement behind the curtain, it could have been Five Nights at Freddy himself. You know, Freddy Fazbear. Uh. Now I'm really thinking about how he like puts people in suits and like they're stuck in the suits and... Now I'm thinking about how, you know, he puts them in the suit and how they're in the suit after he puts them in the suit. I mean, unless they're taken out of the suit, you would expect them to still be in the suit, right? There's two open doors. Man, two open doors. I've never heard of that before. Who knew doors would stay open? Much like the kids being stuffed into the suit. Unless you close the door, the door remains open. And I don't want to keep going along with this. Yeah, I don't want to keep going along with this either. I'm done. So final thoughts. Uh, these videos are interesting to say the least. If there truly was someone running behind the curtain, you know, doing a movement behind the curtain, they probably, you know, got one of their friends to go behind the curtain. Or, the most reasonable explanation, there's just people in there doing their job, you know, clearing out 
the the you know abandoned the abandoned building. I feel bad for the walkers in the first two videos, you know, putting up with these two weirdos' questions. I mean, what would you do if someone came up to you doing your job and said, "Excuse me, have you seen any t dead kids?" In the end, Chuck E. Cheese is not going to turn into FNAF. I, I, I have very, very high doubts that it will. If they really wanted to, like if Scott agreed to opening up, you know, a couple FNAF locations, like he would have to put them where everybody could access them because believe it or not, opening up just one or two, you know, FNAF locations is not, not the best idea because not only will they be crowded during a pandemic, keep in mind, um, but also, not many people are going to be able to experience it. Darko has mentioned this a few times uh, in his videos, but if the FNAF movie does well, we could get a pizzeria at one of the Universal locations, so, you know, let's make sure the movie does well. That's probably the closest we'll ever get to having a FNAF pizza place. So that is how I wasted my time, and now have wasted your time. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, I know it's a bit different, but I just wanted to see uh, how this video was going to turn out, so if you liked it, I think you guys know what to do. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.